Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Wow, good morning viewers. Once again, welcome to um this sharing this morning. Our God is good. He is ever good every day in our lives. And I want to share with us this morning from the book of Exodus chapter 3. Yesterday we looked at Exodus um uh some further passages, but today I want to take you to Exodus chapter 3. And I want to share about God who is sending you sent of God sent of God God is sending me God is sending you on a mission he, and he wants you to go with him and he wants you to be led by his spirit so sent of God is what i want to share because many of us do assignment but i don't know who has sent you for that assignment many of us do business but i don't know who has sent you on that business and exodus chapter 3 verse 11 the bible says but moses said to God who am i that I may I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt and God said I will be with you and this will be the sign to you that 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 it is I who send you when you brought when you brought the people out of Egypt you you will worship God on this mountain sent of God Moses is complaining when God is sending him I don't know who's sending you and I don't know who you are complaining to and about. In this context, Moses, a man God chose. He says, "Who am I?" He was inadequate. He was inadequate because Moses could not speak. He was inadequate because Moses was a weakling. You know, he was a runaway person after he had attempted to um he had killed some people. So, he is on a mission that is sent by God and God has lavishly chosen him and he said, "You are mine." you are qualified for this mission you are qualified for this assignment and so moses goes into identity crisis of debating but remember god has sent him and he's sending him to who to pharaoh a man that had terrified so many people including those which god had sent and many times as you read the bible moses is refusing to release the people of god and this morning you may be going through circumstances we talked about moving on yesterday but today as god sends you on a mission as god sent you on an assignment he's sending you with a word he's sending you and he has a particular thing that you need to do but you're wondering what to do a sense of mission of god has a sense of him on board i want to share with you that indeed as much as things and assignment ahead of you is difficult god is with you is him who is sending you and when you are with god as much as you feel ill equipped you must focus your eyes on him and understand the scope of the assignment moses goes into the identity and god reminds you and he say when these people will be delivered they will know that this was not you it is me who had sent you whatever i do even i to speak to you this particular morning I am reminded that I'm not here on my own I'm here because God has sent me to speak a word to you God has sent me to do something to be able to encourage you as you wake up to go and do whatever you would want to do and for us to understand that then we will never be little every voice that speaks to you particularly when you are seeking his face we will never be little the voice of God when you are on assignment you will never doubt whether the mountains and the people that are surrounding you Moses is asking how can I go who am i and you are asking yourself who am i you are a child of god let me remind you you are known before god god knows your strength he actually knows even your weakness that's why he's sending you this way he send you in wherever you are going and so for you just be obedient moses was wanting was looking for back and wanted to give a, a scapegoat of the, the 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 why he shouldn't go maybe because he was a stammerer maybe because pharaoh was huge maybe because maybe he had not understood the assignment so god affirms and tells him is me who is sending you and i'm sending it to pharaoh for who for the children of israel there are many people that need deliverance and we exist for people our purpose on this earth is not to live our own life our purpose on this earth is not to live for our own our purpose is to be able to serve god our purpose is to be able to look unto god our purpose is to be able to do the will of god 
And God is asking us this morning, wherever we are, whatever we are doing, we are sent of God. In the marketplace, we are sent of God. In school, we are sent of God. We are almost in the electioneering period. We are sent of God. Some of you are sending ourselves. Some of us have allowed people to send us. But I, I want to tell you, it is God who is sending you. I want to read that verse 13 of Exodus chapter 3. It says that, uh, verse 12, And God said, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that it is I uh, it is I who has sent you. God will give you a sign. And I pray as you go to your work that you may understand your scope of assignment that God has sent you on that assignment. So do it with diligence. Do it with a lot of obedience. Do it without any grudge. Do it as unto God and you will be blessed. I want to pray with you. And maybe you are doubting what you are doing. You are doubting your assignment and the scope of everything that you are doing. I want to tell you, you are sent of God. You are born because God has sent you first on this earth and then second to where you exist and whatever you do. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. We lift your name on high. May you be magnified in the life of our viewers. Many of us, Lord, they exist. And maybe they are wondering whether you send them. They are thinking to look back and do anything. I want to pray this morning. You are waking them up, O oh God, from the slumber, slumber of life slump of spirituality, slump of economics, oh God, that everything their hands would want to find, may they know they are sent of God. May you bless them even as they go to your different duties this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldora TV. Our Facebook page is Sidam Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidam Eldoran. And our website is eldorat.sidam.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.